Okay, gentlemen, would you like to present yourselves? Sure, my name is Pat Mayer, and I'm a professor at Cape Breton University, and uh, together with my colleague here, I was one of the hosts of the third IPTN uh, conference that happened in Nunatsiavut. I'm Harvey Lemlin. I'm a professor at Lakehead University, and uh, yeah, like Pat said, we were the co-host along with uh, the, the Nunatsiavut government. We were uh, hosting the third IPTRN conference. Tell me a little bit about why you chose that particular location. Go ahead, Harvey. Well, uh, because of Pat and I's uh, record, research record in the north, we were invited to the Torngat National Park at its early onset to not only experience some of the tourism uh, products that they were developing, but also to provide feedback. And so uh, we went back a couple times to the park, and during one of our meetings, one of the, conf uh, one of the organizers was interested in hosting a larger conference, and it, they wanted the IPTRN to see how the community could host and what would need to be done with that. Uh, because Pat and I are very blunt, we said that's fine, but you'll have to understand that there are some limits right now to what Nain can offer, and this would be a great conference. Yeah, I think, I think really it was, uh, it was an, uh, an opportunity for Nain to sort of see what a conference would be like, and we were able to be a pilot, and it just built on sort of a, probably at that stage, a four-year relationship that we had had with the Nunatsiavut government, with Parks Canada, and with others in the local community that just said, here's a great group that we think would love to, to visit. You're looking for a pilot. It's, it's the perfect, uh, perfect storm. So what would you say are the important topics then in, in that area in terms of tourism development? I think one of them is certainly the connections to community. And if I show you on the map right here, um, this is Nain, um, where the, the conference was held. And this is Torngat Mountains National Park in this particular area. And it's really about how the community um, connects to its landscape and then that landscape that is now protected in the in the Canadian federal system and is showcased to the world it's that it's that um, nexus between those two things we were also uh, we along with the community and Parks Canada were able to showcase a new approach to parks first mm -hmm. you heal the community and then the community gets um, reacquainted with the land reacquaint the elders and you connect the two poles of the elders and the children together back out on the land and for them that was the most important. Now that it was done, mm -hmm. we were able to come back as tourists and say okay so this is what tourists, tourism could offer to the region and that was one of the things we really wanted mm -hmm. to showcase is that the torn gas like Haida Gwais are really flagship in the Parks Canada in a system. There shouldn't be exceptions but they kind of are mm -hmm. and I think for Pat, I'm speaking on Pat's behalf here but it, that was the mo one of the most amazing components of this park. Nain itself, it, if it wants to develop tourism, needs to address a few issues. Uh, accommodations and food have always been an issue in the north, and they needed to hear it from uh, tourism experts. And we did provide some very frank feedback regarding that. Yeah, and I think it's been a nice um, jumping off point as well, because since the IPTRN was in Nain and, uh, and around the Torngat Mountains National Park, some of the operators have, have won big awards. Um, they're a Canadian signature um, uh, operation in terms of what uh, Destination Canada sells to the world. And, and the cultural pieces, the base camp that we were involved with on some of our trips and the cultural center that they envisioned, some of that stuff has really progressed. And on a personal level, has had the conference any legacy for you? Absolutely. I mean, I think it's, it's part of a long-standing legacy in how I've uh, engaged with the IPTRN, and the IPTRN as a network has, has really helped my, my own career. And so my, my work in hosting the conference in Nain uh, built off previous experiences, but kept me engaged with this wonderful community of researchers from all over the polar regions. For myself, it gave us an opportunity to actually do a project that the community wanted. Mm -hmm. And we were lucky because all of our projects with Nain were what the community wanted. It's not really what Pat and I wanted, although we were quite happy to do it. And we were able to showcase with, the, with Nain what they needed to do to host another conference. I believe there, that conference that they wanted went back and uh, they did have it. And for myself, it kind of really springboard other community research 
And uh, I, I'm quite happy and I, I'm quite, I know that the community was quite happy with the outcomes of the conference and what they were able to accomplish. And our relationships up north, um, I've, I've seen some of the conference organizers at conferences and the fact that they're willing to buy you coffee and uh, still talk to you after you're done community research is probably <laughs> one of the best things that the uh, greatest accomplishments of my career and Pat's career. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks, Stacey.